whenever you're ready. We've been running the Hospital at Home scheme now at the hospital for roughly four months. Um, the reason why we started this scheme is because we realised there were a number of patients coming into hospital who were elderly and we weren't able to support them to maintain their independence and their treatments could be delivered at home on an intermediate care level. Um, patients we originally concentrated on were those with COPD. Uh, we've now broadened the scheme out to uh, support frail elderly patients uh, with other conditions. Um, when we originally started the scheme, we developed a service specification. Um, the scheme is supported by a full multidisciplinary team. It's led by a number of acute physicians that work from the medical assessment unit alongside a full nursing team uh, supported by a therapist. Uh, the pathway starts with the patient re being referred by their GP into the assessment unit for a full assessment. The MDT then meet to decide whether that patient is suitable to go into hospital at home scheme. Um, that's discussed with the patient, they agree. They're then transferred into the scheme and to multidisciplinary team take care of all of their care needs um, from prescribing to nursing support. Um, if they require a visit by the specialist, the acute physician will visit them at home and then there's a safe discharge out of the um, hospital at home and if required they're then transferred into community care when their needs um, require a lower level of care they can be transferred into the community. Um, what we wanted to achieve from the scheme was a reduction in the use of beds in the hospital and we've achieved that and we're now looking at looking after 10 patients or more in the scheme depending on their care needs. That saved the equivalent of six beds in the hospital throughout the winter and we're confident that if we broaden out the scheme to more conditions we can save more bed days within the hospital. That's really important to this trust because 25% of our local population are of retirement age and the number of admissions are rising and length of stay is rising. So we can, we can find a way of delivering that care in a more cost effective way whilst maintaining patients independence and quality at home, then that's our objective. We've also used some of the experience-based design tools to assess the experience our patients are having while they're in that ward in the community and use that information which looks like their emotional and psychological reactions to different points of the pathway. Uh, we're using that information to redesign the pathways we're going along so that every patient is put in into care package at home and the care package is patient centred and we've had a exceptionally good response in terms of the EBD uh, feedback and we've used that to improve patient experience even further so the outcomes are good and we're now working with our clinical commissioning group to uh, get, gain support for financial funding to carry that scheme forward on a longer term basis and broaden the number of patients that are able to access it in our rural communities.